Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sepp the Web with another Flatsum video. And today I'm going to show you how to create this video loop inside a banner or a section element. Um, this is an example. I'm also gonna show you how to add a button to open up a full video that you maybe uploaded on uh, YouTube or Vimeo. And uh, I'm going to do this inside one of our demos and I'm gonna replace this hero uh, with a video. I'm using a video from WeWork uh, that has been uploaded on YouTube. I downloaded the file and then as you can see, it's about 30 megabytes. So way too big to uh, upload or to load uh, for your visitors. So what we're going to do is edit this video inside iMovie and I won't go into the depth of this software and I, hopefully there's something also there for Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that video inside my video edit program. And the first thing that I wanna do is detach the audio because that takes uh, unnecessary uh, file size. So I'm taking away the audio and then I'm going to search for some nice uh, parts inside the video. So I think I already have seen this part that I really like. So that, those are just a few shots next to each other. And then I think I will end up here. So now we have about nine and a half seconds. So I would recommend staying between uh, underneath 10 seconds for a video loop uh, because you don't want to have a heavy file. So now I'm going to export this, setting everything as low as possible um sometimes you want to you know increase it a little bit because maybe the file or the yeah the quality of the video is too low but i think this will, would work so now as you can see it's about three mbs that should be enough i won't go i won't recommend to go much higher in terms of file size above five mbs so five megabytes so i'm gonna call this video loop and then it will get rendered uh, to my desktop. And as you can see, I have a nice quick video loop now that's about 10 seconds long. All right, so next step, what we're going to do is we're going inside WordPress and then we're going to media here on the left and then we click on add new. And then I'm going to upload that file the mp4 file and then uh, when you're having a look in your media library you can also click on it and then you get a specific file url that you would need to add in your section or banner so now i'm going to open up the page my front page open it open this specific page inside the ux builder and then I'm clicking on the section element and then scrolling down. Here you can find the place where you can add a video MP4. So now I'm going to paste that specific URL and as you can see, it's already working. So sometimes you need to increase a little bit of the overlay opacity to make sure that the, all the text is readable. So I'm going to the top and here you can find the overlay. And by clicking on it, you can drag and as you can see, it's getting a little bit darker. So you can play around with that. So last thing uh, is an important step because sometimes the video will take some time to load and then it will show that background image that you have set up. So I already created a, uh, a screenshot of a still of our first uh, shot inside the movie. So I'm going to upload that as our background image. And now if the video takes a bit time to load, you will still see that first image that's also in the movie. So hope that makes sense. Uh, next thing is you wanna make sure that the video is also visible on mobile and tablet. And by default, scrolling down below, it's set, I think, to the visibility only for desktop. So if you wanna make sure it's also visible, that video, for mobile and tablet, make sure you put it on visible. So it's visible both on mobile, tablet and desktop. All right, so the last step I wanted to show is that 
uh, you can add a button and opening up that full video inside the light box. So I'm gonna add a button. I'm gonna call this, uh, I'm gonna give it the text play video. I'm gonna make it red to highlight it a bit more. Scrolling a little bit down and here at the icons, uh, icon space, we can add a play button. And then we make, we're gonna make sure that the position is set to the left side. And as you can see, it's nicely there. So now what we want to do is go to YouTube, uh, find that WeWork video. Uh, this is the one. So I'm clicking on it and then I'm gonna, going to paste that URL on top and then adding that uh, to the button. So I'm gonna go scroll down and here at the link, you can paste in the YouTube link and then the last step that you want to do is add a class because you need that and saying open with the with the little stroke still not sure how you call this in english uh, and then putting open dash video so now what i would do is if i'm opening up the project the front page it's going to open up that youtube full video all right, I think that covers it. So I showed you quickly how to uh, add a video. Uh, I, I compressed it. I also took certain shots of that full length video, uh, uploaded the file in the media library, and then I assigned it to my section. Uh, and then I added up a button with the YouTube link. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm also gonna upload this on my member area. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, then you can go to um, uh, the description below and there you can find the tutorial link that will take you to this member area where you can leave comments and ask questions. Um, so give me a thumbs up if you like and comment in below and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified on new videos. See you in the next one and good luck with your Flatsome project. Bye-bye.